love, light, protection, awareness, and guidance to the community. Y'all already know I gotta share that vibe every single time, man. It's so important, right? Because that's my affirmation. That's my mantra. Every single morning, love, light, protection, awareness, and guidance, man. And also the reminder that today's a beautiful day. Regardless of the weather, it's a day you've never seen before and a day you will never see again, fam. What y'all finna do with it? Let's go. Listen, I don't want to waste any more of your time, so we about to get into this, man. We're going to talk about dream symbology. And why is that so important? Well, because I believe that inherently the subconscious mind communicates through imagery, right? So we have the conscious mind, right? The things that we are conscious of, but there is also the mind within the subconscious mind that acts off of habit, but also communicates through imagery. So when you are having dreams, you are being communicated to your sub by your subconscious mind, right? You are being communicated to your from your higher self, sharing with you symbology behind what is going on in your life and why is it going on that way when you learn to decode these symbols in your dreams you start to be aware of what your life really means so that's what we're here to talk about we have these dreams but we don't know what they mean but the moment you learn to decode them your life starts to take a shift and i say that from experience the first dream symbol to never ignore is falling right falling like fa that sensation of falling whether it's off a building off a plane wherever you are falling this could this could happen ha this could have happened recently or in the past and i say that because i don't know where you are in your life right now but my perception of the symbology of falling is symbolic to the is if is symbolic to being afraid of failure Right. When you are in a position of falling, there is something in your life. It doesn't have to be business. It doesn't have to necessarily be about money, but or success. But the nonetheless, there is something in your life, whether it's relationships, friendships, situations, circumstances that you are afraid to fail at. Right. And so that's what the falling sensation is, is aligning to. And I say that from experience. Right. I, I had dreams of falling when I was in that position of fear of failure in my business, fear of failure of trying new things, fear of failure of creating community, finding my, finding a new circle of people who align to what I believe in, who align to, to the kind of vibe that I'm pro projecting. Maybe you are afraid to be seen. Maybe you are a perfectionist. Maybe everything has to be perfect before you even start right a lot of people hesitate before they even start something because they're perfectionist because they're afraid to fail because they need that thing to be perfect when it starts before it even starts but i'm like listen yo when are you gonna start <laughs> that's my question when are you gonna actually start when are you gonna actually take the leap when are you gonna actually put your energy out put your money out put your intentions out right to become your best self to become your higher self People are afraid to fail. People are afraid to make the mistake. People are afraid to put that energy out because they're like, oh shit, what if I put this energy out and it's not worth it? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, what's not worth it is not doing anything because you're gonna stay stuck. You're gonna be there. There is a 100% chance that you're gonna be exactly where you were yesterday by being afraid to make a decision for yourself, right? So you can't be afraid of failure. Failure is the process of growth. You know how many mistakes I've made to get to this point? so many i had a whole academy in 2020 that i shut down in 2021 because i was burnt out right because i was not i didn't have a sustainable system i made the mistake of launching a business without having a sustainable system to keep it and going right so i had to close it off but guess what that mistake has brought me to where i am now right having love change academy 2.0 with the sustainability of being be able to go on for years right because i created a system but i only created that system based off the mistakes that i've happened in my past business experience most people don't get to that point in their lives because they don't even take that first step because they are perfectionists because they are afraid to be seen they are afraid to be they they are afraid to fail in the public eye 
I wasn't afraid, yo. I was like, listen, I'm closing off this academy, man. I got, I'm too burnt out for this shit. Listen, whatever y'all feel about that, I'm sorry, but I got to take care of me. And that was me speaking my truth. I was like, yo, it's all good. I made a mistake. I started something that I couldn't sustain. It is what it is. Let me keep moving forward. I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to be seen failing. I'm not afraid to embrace my mistakes because me learning from them has brought me to this position of creating that much more abundance that much more love, that much more light. So listen, if you have the dream symboli symbology of falling, remind yourself, listen, what are you afraid of? Why are you afraid of? What can you do, what can you do to move forward from that? Right, come on now, we, we only on number one. How can you fall if you are already grounded? Mmm. Don't let that go over your head, fam. Dream symbol number two, being chased or being on the run. The symbology behind being chased or on the run is the subconscious trying to escape the reality of life. There is something outside in your outside world that you are trying to escape and you don't know how and you don't know what it is maybe sometimes. But the point is nonetheless, there is something outside of you that you can't control that you are trying to run away from instead of embrace or confront, right? Because that's the only way that we can move forward from the things that we can't control is we have to confront them, confront the fear, right? Maybe that's what you're running from. If you're having dreams of falling and running, then clearly you're trying to escape the reality of trying to confront your own fears. Whoo! You probably didn't even know that about yourself. But look, your dreams are telling you something, right? The dreams are telling you something, right? When you are on the run, you are trying to escape something in your life without confronting it head on. The monsters that you are afraid of, they don't live under your bed, right? They don't live outside of your house. The monsters that you are afraid of, they live in your mind. So what is the solution? The solution is to rise above fear. Let love guide you. Become solution driven. Focus on the solution and how that can provide love in your life. Move forward with abundance. Move forward with intention. Go into nature. Sometimes that's all you gotta do. So many people are afraid to embrace themselves, so, so, so afraid to confront what it is sometimes all you got to do is get your ass into nature fam just go tap in mother nature got the source for you mother nature got that energy for you right that energy that is going to grant you the confidence to confront the world because mother nature is divine number three is when you are naked in your dream right when you are exposed in your dream it's so crazy though because i had i had two different realities of this dream of being exposed being naked in front of other people or just in general in my dream right and so again this is also depending on how it's perceived is connected to falling the symbol the symbolism behind here is that the subconscious mind is telling you that you are still afraid to be vulnerable mm. i told y'all i told y'all vulnerability is your superpower vulnerability is the substance that is what's going to allow you to connect with people on a deep level that is what's going to allow you to impact people on a deep level and as you know the more you impact the more you attract vulnerability is literally your superpower but your dream of being naked and being afraid is a symbolic message of realizing that you are afraid to embrace your vulnerability. Mm. Look, I'll be trying to tell them, but look, there's two ways to look at this concept here because you can have this dream in two ways. And I say that because I've had it in both ways, right? I remember back when I was in high school, I had this dream where I was naked and i was like oh shit i'll make it like i was afraid right and i was connected to this concept where i was also afraid to be vulnerable in high school and so that's why that dream was connected to me back then but i remember after high school i had another dream 
where I was naked and I was just like walking down. I was like, man, fuck it. Like I was literally like, cause I remember the dream. So, cause it was so funny. I was literally there. I was chilling. I had like a hoodie on. I was vibing out. And then out of nowhere, I take a left turn off the block and then I'm naked. I'm like, what the fuck? So I was just walking around and I was like, you know what, man? Fuck it. It is what it is. Let me just keep on walking. I got somewhere to be. And so I woke up. I was like, yo, what the hell was that about? Like, why was I just chilling? And I realized that, listen, it's exactly the opposite. The fact that I was exposed in my dream, but I was just like, fuck it, was because I wasn't afraid to be vulnerable, right? At that time in my life, which is connected to now, I'm not afraid to be vulnerable, right? I'm not afraid to dive into who I really am and share that with people because however they see it is however they see it. It doesn't affect me and my self image of how I love myself how I care for myself, how I see myself, right? So that goes again. That's why being naked in a dream can go both sides. It's really how you perceive and how you react to that situation in the dream, which reflects the how it is in your life and the way that you express vulnerability. Vulnerability is our greatest strength because it takes more strength to be vulnerable than it doesn't. Right. It takes more strength for somebody to actually speak their truth than it does for somebody to hold down and compress and suppress themselves. Right. Shout out to my chosen ones out here, man. Listen, if you're on this call right now, I'm going to tell you again, you a chosen one. Right. Because you chose to be here. Nobody has to be here. You chose to be here. You a chosen one because this call is all about becoming your greatest version. So you being here is literally choosing to become your greatest version. And that is the definition of a chosen one. Simple. So many people are like, who are the chosen ones? How do you become a chosen one? The only way to, to validate yourself as a chosen one is to always put yourself in position to choose to become great, choose to become better than who you were yesterday. Simple. All you got to do is choose. That's the chosen one. The fourth dream symbology to never ignore is the feeling of being hungry or starving or having some kind of appetite in your dream where you feel like you need to eat something. When you are starving, when you are craving something or when you are in a position of eating something in your dream, this is a sign of being malnourished, right? Because if, if, you're, if your subconscious mind, even though it can't actually eat food, wants to eat food, that's you, literally your subconscious mind telling you like, yo, your body is malnourished. You need to nourish yourself a little better, whether it's physically, right? Or it could be mentally. It could be spiritually, right? You could be eating all them kale salads and all them green smoothies, but you're not taking care of the mental. And so in your dream, you still hungry, right? Because that's your subconscious mind telling you like, yo, girl, yo, bro, you got to feed the mind. Right. You need to start reading. You need to start tapping into mornings with the love change. You need to start tapping into nature, something right. Grounding yourself, putting yourself back into connecting to source, connect back to God, connect back to the universe. Right. Because your soul is starving. Come on now. Starving symbology. You do not want to miss this. You do not want to ignore this. If you feel like you are eating in your dreams, you are starving, you are craving in your dreams. You are malnourished in one area of your life, whether it's spiritually, mentally or physically. So you need to acknowledge in yourself what that is and how to actually overcome that. Right. If it's if you're malnourished physically, you already know you need to skip the Mickey D's, skip the damn dollar menu and head over to Whole Foods and get that. Go, go get them little ginger shots. Right. Go get them green smoothies, man. Stop playing with yourself. Your health is wealth. Let's go. Right. You need to start tapping into source. You need to start going within. So many people are feeling lost because they're trying to look for answers outside of themselves. But I'm here to tell y'all for all my spiritual seekers out there. I've been there. I done looked at all the all the religious books. I read the Quran, the Bible. I read all these extra books trying to find answers outside of myself only to realize what it is that I really seek is within. I just needed to tap in. All I need to do was just go to my park, my local park, head into nature, plant my feet and just close my eyes and tap into source, tap into the present where substance lies. That was it. I didn't need to read a whole Bible to find that answer. <laughs> I just needed to go within. Right. And so 
tap in, right? If you are starving in your dreams, tap in, right? Mental health, you need to take care of yourself. The more that you love and accept yourself, the more that you start to feed yourself because now you are tapping into your greatest version. Now you are becoming better than who you were yesterday. Simple, right? Come on, man, we ain't done, we ain't done. What is the fifth dream symbol to never ignore? Number five is when you are flying. When you are flying, fam. When you are experiencing flying in your dream, it is a, it was, it's a, it's a reflection of you exiting the 3D and raising in consciousness to the 5D, right? So you are literally raising your awareness in your life. You are becoming a higher, a higher sentient being in your life. You are becoming more of who you are, who you embody, who you are naturally meant to become. When you are flying in your dreams, you are literally becoming your greatest version, right? You're tapping into higher realms of reality, higher realms of awareness. You are literally exiting the 5D into the, I mean, the 3D into the 5D, right? So that's the power and the symbology of flying. It recognizes that you are starting to tap into your freedom. You are starting to tap into your true self. And you are no longer allowing people or things to control you or your circumstances. You are no longer held down by the desire of the matrix. What is the matrix? Money, right? Temptations, experiences. These are matrix desires. Now, is it's okay to have desires. I, I'm not saying that here you, you like, we need to be perfect, right? We, we desire some things. Sometimes you desire to take care of yourself, you know, go to the spa, take whatever it is, man. But again, you got to remind yourself to ground yourself in those desires, which is like, listen, you're a human, so it's okay to desire certain things in the matrix. But you need to ground yourself to remind yourself nonetheless they are matrix desires right the desire is a matrix concept right that's why the buddha was like you know detachment he detached from the desires of the world to uh, to understand the brahman to understand the buddha nature which is the state of mind right the buddha is not a person if you guys didn't know that the buddha is a state of mind that the siddhartha the person who acquired that state of mind acquired the buddha nature right and so that's the concept of the buddha and so that's why we need we need to understand and ground ourselves when we are experiencing flying in our dreams that you know desires are okay they're human they're human experiences but nonetheless don't forget who you really are beyond this human experience you are a multi-dimensional being simultaneously living this human experience Right. As a multidimensional being, you exist in all kinds of dimension realities, right? Not just in the three dimensional world where you see your physical body, but you need to understand. You need to understand that you have a consciousness that far proceeds this three dimensional realm, that you literally have multiple experiences happening simultaneously in this three dimensional world. You are tapped into mornings with the love change. But in the fourth dimensional world, your consciousness, your experience is happening and doing something completely different. In the fifth dimensional world, your consciousness, your experience is completely different. You are literally doing something right now in the 5D that you probably aren't even aware of. That's why the key is to tap in. The key is to ground yourself, right? I believe in my sense right now, in the three dimensional world, I'm educating mornings with the love change. But on the fifth, the fifth, the five D, I'm probably doing something very aligned to this concept as well. I'm doing something to help impact people in the five D realm, right? I'm doing something at this very moment in the six D, in the seven D, eight D, nine D, because I'm a multi dimensional being simultaneously living this experience, doing multiple things in these dimensions, right? That's the key to awakening to your higher self, right? And that symbology of flying is showing you that, that you are rising above, you are realizing your true potential. You are becoming a multi-dimensional awareness. Again, the dreams that you have are the reflections in your life. Simple. Listen, man, this is a beautiful day out here. I be trying to tell them a day you never seen before and a day you will never see again. I hope y'all taking care of yourselves, staying hydrated, getting into nature, tapping in because there is no coincidence your experience is your experience let love guide you and keep it moving